All right, everybody, welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Modded. I'm doing a post commentary here because I recorded two episodes in a row and they were giant episodes. They were Plantera and the Golem, and I just so much in them. And for some reason, there's no audio whatsoever. Like every time before I record, unless I'm in a hurry, I check the frap settings, everything was normal. I get into the game, record my shit, and then later on in the day, I'm like, alright, let's put these together. Let's let's put them up, because I usually chop them into clips with fraps. You know, I turn the recording on, record a bit, turn it off when I'm not recording, and do that, put them together in Vegas. But they didn't have any fucking audio, I don't, I don't know why. But here at the beginning, I'm going over these little things that we can make out of Monster Souls. I finally figured out how to make them, and I don't know how I did not figure this out before, but we're trying to make a summoner one trying to make a summoner one because making a summoner little thing i don't even know what they're called summoner soul i don't know what these are called just classes all right they're called classes apparently so we'll make a make a i think we have a level eight or nine and yeah level nine class summoner thing and that gives us like 20 something percent damage and they go up to really high levels i think they go up to 15 maximum possibly but they oh my god you have to get so many monster souls i thought i had a lot and I do have a lot, but I don't have enough to make level 10 from what I know. I think it's like 1,500 to make level 10. But that's, that's, that's too much. But we'll slowly gather them over time. I think in this episode, towards the end, I fight the golden slime again. But yeah, we're just chilling right here. It's hard for me to do post come because I feel like I got to talk a lot more. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, you can make uh, these class things. They do a lot more damage. You can make one for warriors, mages even a throwing one so that's pretty cool definitely a dope ass mod to have uh it's from urgent but yeah i finally figured it out i did not know how to do it before sorry if the audio sounds weird i turn my head to the left because audacity is on my other monitor and i just look at it sometimes and it sounds more weird from what i've seen but yeah hopefully this episode won't be too different i mean i'll try my best to make it feel like we're in the we're in the video. It's actually hard for me to feel like I'm also in the video too because there's no audio. There's no game audio. There'll be music playing in the background. I'm not gonna, not gonna try and replicate the whole audio of the video because that just sounds hard. But yeah, I'm switching out these potions here because uh, I think I have enough of the greater healing potions or yeah, the greater healing potions. Is that what they're called? It's greater healing potions. What's the 200 ones called? Better healing potions? I don't know. But yeah, we swap those out real quick. And now I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna reforge something apparent. Oh, the leeching seed. Yeah, I'm making the leeching seed a main item in my set here. I don't know what I replaced with it. Oh, the little heart crystal. Okay. Because, yeah, we get 20 life, 2 regen. I guess the 2 regen is really good, but uh, having the 50 health from leeching seed is better than a 20. And actually, you can upgrade that little heart necklace. Uh, you need 3 life fruit, but I don't think I'll do that anytime soon. But yeah, we're heading. I believe we're going to the jungle. To go search for Plantera seed. I gotta see when this video ends. Alright, it ends in a couple minutes. Let me put my mouse over here on Audacity. Hopefully this syncs up well. I don't know. I haven't done too many like posts. Actually, no, I have. I did like Fallout videos where I did post commentary, like unique weapon Fallout videos. But yeah, we're heading underground. We're gonna go find Plantera's bulb. And once we do that, it's on. It's going on. I don't know if we defeat her. I don't wanna spoil it, but. I only find one bulb. Look at this. Oh, I try to... Uh, turtles are something I want to find because there's some dope-ass shit. But yeah, let's skip on to the next clip, shall we? Alright, so we head back to base here because I need to make some special items out of souls new from the Tremor mod update. We are in Tremor 1.2, uh, I believe. So we get one of every soul right here. And we got soul of mine in our inventory from fighting the motherboard uh, episode ago. I think it was last episode. But yeah, we can make some dope ass items. We gotta go to the Tinkerer's workbench over here. And you guys will see this. Check this out right here. Check this out right here. Check this out right <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? But yeah, little bottle buffs. So now these things, you can equip them, which is really cool. You can equip them for more, more of a bonus effect, or you can place them for a little bonus effect. And I think it's a really dope thing to implement. Really awesome. Just like uh, an aura effect, just like a bunch of other items give you. But some of these are really good. I just made all of them just because I have uh, one for every soul. And I also made some potions. I think I made some potions. Was it this fight or was it golem? I don't know. But I know I came back to make potions. I don't know if we had them in the last clip or not. 
But yeah, now I'm like organizing my chest. I gotta organize these chests more. If I didn't have hand problems, then I would I would do this more. Yeah, I'm trying to record Terraria videos in like, in, what's the word here? Marathons, I guess you can say. Because by doing that, I guess I'll have a, uh, a lot better time to rest my wrists. Like, I gotta rest my wrists every now and often. Every now and often. And I'm okay with that. It's just good to rest your wrists anyways. Yeah, there's people that probably play video games for me. There's people that play video games for a living. And I don't know, I've never heard them complain about wrist problems. At least the ones I watch. But there's probably some that do and they figured out ways to stop it. I don't know. I, I need to find, like, tips from, like, an actual gamer itself. And not just searching up shit on Google. But enough about my problems. Who cares about me? We're here for the gameplay. Now we're going back down under the fine plant area. Because I did find a bulb off camera. One of them. And it was, I made a nice open area. And once we get to that area, we will go ahead and take on Plantera. But yeah, we got some dope ass weapons we're going to make in the next episode. I am hype and sad that we don't have the audio for those weapons. We might some, see some new enemies on the way down here. And there's a couple new enemies in the jungle. Three of them. It's like some green looking zombie. There's like some piece of wood. Like a square piece of wood with legs that walks around. And then there's like a... Oh, there's the piece of wood with legs. Died instantly. And then there's also a zombie with honey on his head. Really cool. I think his name is Hivehead. But yeah, if we kill a turtle and get a shell, we can make some weapons and also a great accessory that hopefully I'll get in the future. And that accessory you can make from the turtle, you can also upgrade it with the beetle armor. And it's just going to be very helpful for us. And there's a bunch of uh, accessories I need to upgrade for the future here. But yeah. After this, I've been doing this series in chapters. So chapter one, you know, is the first little pre-hard mode half. Chapter two is once we enter hard mode. What the fuck am I saying now? Chapter two is once we enter hard mode. Now I plan plan for the series to be ended when I fought the Pixie Queen boss, but I think we're gonna fight the Pixie Queen boss for chapter two, and then chapter three is gonna be, you know, the rest on from there. Cause there is a very hard boss in this mod, and hopefully I can fight it before it up before the mod updates. Cause the mod actually nerfs him. I want to see how challenging he is before update, before the update, which I think is going to be a while from here anyways. But yeah, we get, uh, we're going to play some campfires. We're going to have one up high, one down low. So if I go up, I'll get the buff from the campfire. If I go down, I'll have the buff from the campfire. But yeah, I, I like having nice open rooms like this to fight bosses. It's always good. It's always good. I'm proud that I made that desert one. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's not a good idea to set a platform there. I think I placed the platforms inside the wall. And then put the bottles on top of the platforms. You can just place the bottles. You don't need platforms. I thought you needed platforms. But you can straight up just place the bottles on solid blocks. And boom bada bing. But yeah, some of the bottles, they give really good buffs. Uh, this one shows enemies. So if you equip it, you can. it's a free, pretty much free buff. When it comes to like uh, the one potion, the hunter potion that shows enemies. So that's really cool. That one, that was what? Critical strike, I think? Yeah, increased critical strike. That was kind of weird. I said I think it was increased critical strike, and then I point to it again on camera. Uh, that's weird, but uh, I'll I'll take it. Uh, felt like I meant it. That one I don't know what the hell that one was. What was that? Twenty percent increased movement speed. That's what that one was. Sorry if I'm making loud noises. Out. I had to, I was like sitting with like one foot up on this stool under me under 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 the under the. But we place all these bottles down. They all give really nice buffs. Uh. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for the next update of Team Mod Loader. Team Mod Loader is the thing I'm using to mod the game. And a really nice, you know, it's, what's the word I can use here? Really nice thing to use to mod the game. Very easy to work with, and it's probably one of the most recently updated ones that's still worked on right now. Uh, TAPI it was discontinued once 1.3 came out. Sadly, TAPI, we will be doing a mod on that eventually. There's also standalone mods, which are pretty cool to install, and we will also be doing that in the future. But yeah, right now, we are just placing the final set of bottles. We have the next team mod loader update. Oh my god, there's going to be summoner weapon support. And if we're still doing this playthrough when that comes out, that's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Maybe I'll come back to this playthrough. Maybe this playthrough won't completely end. Uh, we'll have to see, though. But I've been planning, I've been thinking about it, and maybe I will go to the moon lord. Maybe I will go to the moon board because there's a lot of new stuff uh, added in thanks to this tremor mod. Tremor mod is amazing. 
Uh, shout outs to all the guys who work on those. those are, this is a dope mod. This is a dope mod. But yeah, I need to upgrade that golden charm I have in my uh, accessory slot because there's like a super charm you can make if you add combine like six of them together. Because there's, there's uh, like six or seven different kinds and they all like buff something they, like buff your health, buff your defense, stuff like that. But let's fight Plantera here. We're going to hit him with a gold, godly golden slime. You know, give him that Ecor debuff. And then I also buff myself with my potions, of course. But yeah, we're using the Unholy tri Trident with the Masterful Reforge. I was going to say Enchantment. I don't know why I always want to say Enchantment. I just like that word, that word better. And probably because I play Minecraft a good bit. But yeah, we're just going to shoot him with the Ecor thing because it doesn't use ammo and is the best weapon I have. Uh, maybe not best weapon. Maybe not best damaging weapon. I actually think I get rid of it sooner or later. No, I get rid of the Masterful Trident in the next episode for a fucking awesome weapon. Added in from the Tremor mod yet again, who would have thought? But yeah, here we go, just shooting him with the Unholy Trident. The Unholy Trident, where well, we have mana, because it consumes mana so quickly. It does so much damage. It does crazy amounts of damage. Like, that shit can crit. But yeah, we brought Plantera into the second mode here, dropping those thorn balls everywhere, which is actually a throwable weapon, a little tiny throwable weapon in this. That makes, uh, you know, the throwing class a little bit more viable. Having all these weapons added in from Trema yet again. Who would have thought Trema would have said it again? But, I keep saying but. I'm sorry. This is what I do when I post come. I have to, I have to keep on switching sentences, switch topics like that. But, <laughs> we are not going throwing anymore. We are in this live stream I'm doing. I'm doing extra mode live stream. Trying to just take some, take it on, take on the Tremor mod in the different a different way. As in like experience the first couple of bosses and the well the first couple of new bosses and also get the new items from the first couple of bosses i think there's three pretty hard mode bosses for tremor now which is dope but boom there we go we got souls of life now keep that in mind that is used to make a boss from the urgent mod that doesn't have a picture from what i've seen so i'm very excited to fight that boss whenever might be a hard one though we might have to beef up gear a little bit to fight that one so here we are we can show off the medium power table right here. 50 stars, 5 souls of life. And we can make the next one, which brings even higher levels, which I didn't figure out until that moment. But as you saw that little boss spawner right there, uh, I didn't read it because I was talking. Just checking the dudes for items. You know, see if they got anything new for fighting Plantera. I think one of them do. I'm pretty sure the uh, Avalon, the Sorcerer? Is he the Sorcerer? I don't know what the fuck he is. Uh. But I'm pretty sure, I'm sorry for burping, I'm pretty sure he has some new stuff, but I don't know if I buy this episode, I might buy the next episode. Pretty sure I buy the next episode though, I don't know. Oh wait, are we checking? Are we checking right now? Oh, gotta take those souls out and move them to the other chest, because I don't know why they're in there. I really should clean up some more chests. Ooh, are we gonna talk to Avalon or not? No. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's next episode. But yeah, I checked these souls again, see if there's anything new, look at that. There's a bone hook, there's a weapon over there, nano bar, and I checked that baby out. I think we make use of that in the next episode, beginning of the next episode, I'm pretty sure. But that's what we want to make, suspicious looking gel, we can do that. We just need five souls of night, five souls of life. What? Five souls of night, four, four, five, 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 five souls of light, and five souls of night, and 500 gel, which we should have all of that, I'm pretty sure we do. But let's see now, which chest did I put it on? This one, obviously, I knew that from the start. I only got two souls a night, but we can convert souls. We can indeed convert souls. I gotta clear our inventory, putting all the souls together, obviously. And put that one on. Put the glow sticks, right? There's like glow sticks even in there. Man. Glow sticks are pretty useful. I might just sell those up. But, uh, gonna talk to Jeff again real quick. I already made that table. Me, what are you doing? I already made that one. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. I do gotta make the next level, though. So I do need rubies to make the next level. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. There's too much talking from here. <laughs> Alright, I drank that a lot louder <clears throat> than I should have. But, I, I don't know why I'm standing by the extractinator. I guess I am just for fun. Just for fun, yeah. Just a fun thing to do. Look at the rain. That rain is pushing to the right. That's a hard turn to the right. I got these ladders in this uh, cactus home. So I'm slowly extending. And 
It's coming out pretty nice. You know, maybe the shape is looking a little bit weird. But yeah, we're heading off somewhere. Where are we heading off to? All right, so in this clip, I got a bunch of souls, some more souls of light, some more souls of night. I'm going to make the stuff, but wait, this is when a crash happened and my game like fucking broke. It like took out all the modded stuff and I got so scared. I got so scared, but don't worry, it does get fixed. As you see, like he's standing there, there's no laminated floor underneath the night over there in the left. And I got kind of freaked out, but all I had to do was just reload the save. I think it's, I'm pretty sure I reloaded the mods and then, yeah. So let's get right to it. We're gonna make the golden slime thing. We fix the world by reloading everything. I reloaded the mods with T Mod Loader. There's a little button you can hit that reloads mods. And then you can just from there launch the world back up and just hope. And just hope. That's what I did. And it worked. Thank God for that. But I might just take some breaks here, let you guys just watch the video. Because uh, my throat's starting to hurt from post commentary. Uh, I feel like I'm talking a lot more than I have than I do in actual commentaries, which is weird. Cause I feel like I talk a lot. I feel like I'm one of those commentators that talks a lot. Cause I don't like weird silent pauses in my videos, especially if there's is a video with no music. I make sure I put some music in there. Cause silent pauses is weird. You always want something flowing through your ears when you're watching a commentary. And if you're like, why the fuck is this guy commentating? I didn't come here for commentary. Then mute the video and just watch it with. <laughs> Audio. Play some Terraria music in the background. Because if you're watching this and you don't want my commentary, well, very easy to, you know, simulate Terraria. But yeah, we're placing our bottles down right here. Boom, bada, bing. We don't need all of them. I just place all of them because I'm a fun person like that. Look at that one. That one looks like poo. Uh, and then we place the green one. Come on. You can place the green one. No, you're not going to place the green one. I saw the green one there. I guess I didn't want to place the green one. And I don't know why I try to hang the heart lantern. I mean, place the heart lantern. Something you hang, you dumb shit. Who taught you this? I don't even know how it fit in that hole. Whatever. We're gonna go up, make this baby. And boom, bada, bing. I'm gonna cut out most of the fight, though. And when the fight comes, I'll just... Well, the fight comes in next clip. Let me make sure. Make sure. All right, yeah, this clip is gonna end very soon. Yeah, you get a lot of gel back. You also get a lot of monster souls. That's the main reason why we're fighting them. You get tons of monster souls. Which should get us a lot closer to our goal of 1500 or something like that. But yeah, take off these platforms. They get annoying sometimes. Let me drink some water. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that water tastes like water. It's so good. <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite thing to say. But we gotta clear out the area here. So we sand blocks everywhere in this fucking place. I don't know how. I made the floor solid like that so ant lines can spawn. Is that supreme possessed armor? That thing's only supposed to spawn during blood moons. I don't know why it's here. Tremor, worst mod. No, I'm kidding. Tremor's one of the best mods from 1.3 so far. Uh, actually, mm, it's the best one I played so far. Best one I played so far. And it's not the best for 1.3 so far because there might be more coming out. I talked to Oliver for some reason because I'm like, yo, is this a blood moon? Because when the blood moon comes, you can buy a boss summoner from him. Pre-hard mode boss summoner, so we will fight that pre-hard mode boss with some weaker set of armor, maybe a different class, I don't know, we'll have to see, but yeah, I'm ready to throw it down with the suspicious looking gel that is golden, and here we go, it's battle time, well, hopefully we get a bunch of monster souls out of this, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip, enjoy like the last five seconds, I'm talking still, what? Boom bada bing, we're beating the shit out of him, and we're just standing up there. Just hitting him. He doesn't even care. He's, I don't even think he teleports at all. But yeah, at the end of this fight, the cyborg spawns in. And that's very, very convenient because we saw in the last clip. I think it was the last clip. But there's those little nano, nanite, nan, nanites, nano, nano bars, nano bars, I think they're called. That you can make from nanites. Nano knights? What the fuck are they called? I can't remember. But yeah, we can make those. And very convenient that he spawns in and we make them at the beginning of the next episode, which I'm not gonna fucking edit after this Because my throat hurts. <laughs> ah I'm a commentator. It shouldn't Hold up. I'm a scream. Ha! Ah! Okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm looking at it in audacity. Holy shit. Yeah, enjoy the rest of this fight I'll say something if I need to. I'm, I'm literally gonna chill here. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have audacity I'm just gonna chill here and drink water Mm-hmm
Mm. Some good, some, some amazing water. It tastes like water. Yeah, we defeated him and we get the gilded ninja shirt which does something i didn't think it would do 15 percent increase throwing them who the fuck cares i guess if you want to make a really dope throwing set you might care a little bit more i think the whole thing is a throwing set now that i think about it but the pants seem out of place but omega the cyborg has arrived Ugh. jesus christ i'm burping after drinking water something's all wrong here something's all wrong for now on i'm gonna test i'm gonna test record before i record at all thanks 